Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last here in Las Vegas in the beautiful MGM Grand Garden Arena, joined by the one and only Mickey Bay. How are you, mate? I'm doing great, doing great. Just saw you in the ring with uh, Amari Jones. Um, tell us a little bit about him because there'll be a lot of people in the UK who perhaps aren't too familiar with Amari. Um, 4 and 0, really good prospect with a bright future. Just tell us a little bit about what it's like working with him and what Amari's about. Um, real good, hard working kid under the Devin Haney promotions banner. Um, he lives, eats, sleep, trains with Devin. I've been working with him now since he was 17, he's 19. He's progressing very fast. Uh, he has speed, power. He loves boxing, very disciplined, got defense. Uh, he'd be fighting, he's a 54 pounder, but um, he's fighting a 60 in between 54 and 60 this fight. Talk to me about Mickey Bay, the trainer, because I see you up there with the pads on. We know you from being in the ring. Yeah. So talk to me about Mickey Bay, the trainer. Uh, it was just organic. Um, uh, you know about boxing, so it works. Yeah, and, and you know, it was kind of organic because, well, you know, I've known Bill and Devin since Devin was a baby, pretty much, and uh, we both came up under the Mayweather, you know, the Mayweather system. I trained with, with Big Floyd and been around the Mayweathers for 20 years since I was young, and um, Devin used to work with him, so <laughs> I know, you know, I pretty much, other than Mayweather Jr., I pretty much probably know the most out of anybody that's living right now um other than you know his dad of course um so me being young i just think the fit was organic i started working with him and, and it was a great marriage we look forward to seeing what amari can do on on saturday night but of course the weekend is all about devin haney um has devin felt like this weekend's fight has ramped up even more because of the events that took place in new york last week yeah 100 percent um you know uh Devin is so focused, um, he can't wait till after he handles his bids on Saturday. I hear Cambosis is coming, and the funny thing is that was my last fight, Cambosis, you know, uh, so, you know, uh, maybe maybe my fighter, he gonna avenge that, and you know, you know, that's a, a good thing, but um, Devin, this fight, man, it's gonna be, I mean, people gonna love it. Devin is getting better and better. He just turned 23 about a week ago, and he's doing incredible things in the ring. Uh, this is the best I've ever seen him look. What sort of tasks do you think Jojo Diaz can bring to Devin? Obviously, we know Jojo is a two-way world champion. He's been in some real fights where he's had to be a dog, bite down on his gum shield. Um, we know the skill Devin's got, but what sort of test do you think Jojo can bring to Devin? Um, I think he can bring, you know, he. I'm sure he'll try to bring pressure, but I don't even think that'll last long, to be honest with you, because when you bring pressure and you just getting tattooed, tattooed, oh, that's going to stop. Like, people tried it in sparring, and, and, you know, I ain't going to give away too much, you know, but believe me, when I say you can see that Devin just turned 23, you know, as you start to get a little older, I'm going to just get you, you know what I'm saying by that, but we'll see how much he walks forward and if he can do that. You know, I'm going to just tell you, Devin is ready for everything. I sense a little bit of not anger from Devin Haney because we all know how good Devin Haney is and he, he's a WBC world champion. But when there's so much talk around Tiafimo and people were calling Tiafimo the man at 135, I sense like Devin's got a bit of anger and he wants to get in there and show people, look, I'm the man. Is, is there a little bit of anger almost in Devin that's built up? You, you guessed it. You, you put it right on the nose. Devin don't play when it comes to somebody thinking that people can beat him. He want to prove, prove it to himself. That, that's what I think make him different than the other young fighters. He willing to put it on the line now. He not waiting till he 30, 28, 20, you know, he want to do it now. Like when Sugar Ray fought Hearns and, you know, and like the old school pretty much. Uh, like I say, we want to, we going to win this fight Saturday. And the guy that he wants is Cam Bolsas. He want the undisputed um, championship and he fight Tank or whoever after that. It's kind of a weird situation because you have everyone and his dog calling out Cambosis now. I mean, Devin's the one really we want to see fight him if he comes through because that's the, to get to be undisputed champion, yeah. But you have everyone and his dog calling out Cambosis now he's won. But it was only really Devin that was pushing for the Tiafimo fight and many people weren't. So do you think people perhaps think that Cambosis is, is perhaps an easier touch than Tio despite the fact he's beat him? I think it's the money. They know that he going to be worth a lot of money, Cambosis. So win, lose, or draw because people saying it. But obviously, he proved that he's a top 
I mean, him, Tank, and Devin are the top. Now, Devin is number one, of course, but I'm saying he knocked off a guy that everybody was thinking was the top, top for beating Lumachenko. So um, you got to put him, I put him uh, up in that top three. You know, Devin, number one, and, you know, Tank and Cambosa's in the air. But, you know, I don't see uh, Ryan and guys like that beating uh, Cambosa's. In terms of uh, the Tiafimo Lopez and George Cambosa's fight itself, there was a lot of perhaps criticism post-fight of um, Lopez Senior. Obviously, you're around Bill and Devin and, and that sort of family relationship in a camp. Um, I just sort of want your take on the comments made by Lopez Senior in the corner. It was like after the first round, there was a lot of mixed signals. It was like, finish him, relax, take your time, knock him out. Like, just your take on that? Well, one thing about Bill, he's real smart. So, you know, that's why we put a great team together. So it's not just ran on emotions. It was no game plan, no logic. It was all emotions and all, it was all, this is my son. He was talking almost like he was in a backyard fight. Like, go get him, son. It's more to it than that. And I think he let his son down, you know. Uh, I think he let him down, really. You know, he probably, he still would have lost regardless, but I could just look at the face that Tia Fimo had and he didn't have any hope in the, in the in between rounds, he just looked like he was ready for the night to be over. Right, um, and but the, the difference with Bill is it's all business in the gym, and, uh, and we got a great team. We bounce things off each other, like it's no four. ego or no, you know, we we dealing straight on um, Devin the fighter. Obviously, you've been in with George Cambosis Jr. When after your defeat to George, did you come out of the ring thinking that you've been in there with someone who could go on to achieve what George has achieved and fight at that level? Um, it was it was kind of hard to tell because I've been off for like three and a half years at that point. But I got the experience, so I think that's what troubled him in the fight. But after the fight, after the fight, he. He uh, he thanked me for the fight and giving him the, you know, the hard fight and said that he learned a lot. And we talked for a while and he did tell me that I'm a beat Tiafimo. So I'm like, all right, we'll keep your word and do it. And he did it. So it's just ironically now that he going to be facing off with me, you know, with Devin. So, you know, that's going to be fun. How are things between you and George? Have you sort of spoken since? Obviously, I know there's no like real bad blood, but have you no, spoken no, no, to George? No. Have you kept in contact at all? Um... No, I haven't talked to him. I talked to a couple people from over uh, in Australia. Um, Jeff Fennick was just here, you know, so I got some boxing friends over there. Uh, but, you know, definitely much respect to him. And uh, I definitely want to congratulate him because um, that was a great win that he got. And um, just fight my kid, fight Devin Haney, you know, for the undisputed. Mate, that is genuinely one of the most exciting fights in years. Oh, I can't man. wait. Fingers crossed all goes well on, um, on Saturday. I do just quickly want to ask you about yourself. Um, I see on Instagram that you and Tevin Farmer is something that is up in the air might potentially happen. That's a really good fight. Um, obviously, Tevin fought JoJo of previous. Uh, yeah, talk to you, man. You and Tevin. Oh, yeah, you know, I definitely want it. Um, soon as Devin is done fighting, you know, we're going to all sit at the round table. And, you know, I still put him first, of course, so I got to see what he got next. But, yeah, I want a real fight when I come back. I had many years I was kind of having a little, you know, my manager, he dropped the ball on getting me a lot of big fights when I was a champion and I had a, a, a bad experience, you know, for years without being, getting to fight and stuff like that. So I kind of just want to get two, three more fights in to just get a world some excitement and, and be in some big fights. But, you know, it's all about uh, Devin Haney first. So just finally on yourself, do you feel like it has to be big fights from here on in because you're a name that's known in the States? Um, former world champion people I will kind of only accept well, well all right say no, that say that again say that again yeah uh you know y'all got maxi hughes and ricky burns and you know that's just who i could think of but i love to come over to the uk and fight as well okay well if devin wins and then maybe fights cambo so that won't be in the uk but maybe devin can fight in the uk and you can fight on the same card uh yeah we yeah we could do that we probably could do that but with cambo so it'd be hard i gotta be locked in all the way for that one yeah, it'll be, it'll be hard for me to, um, I, I'm going to be zoned in, so I can't fight nowhere near hit that time. Well, look, whatever happens, we can't wait to see you back in the ring and look forward to seeing what Devin does at the weekend. And, um, yeah, Mickey, thanks for giving me some of your time. Thanks. It's a pleasure. I appreciate that. Thank you.